All right, guys, Appalachian Food Forest here. I just wanted to show you uh, show you our work in progress here, our food forest. We have spent four long days now planting, moving things around. Um, I moved my grapevines from a different location to an, the new food forest location. Um, transplanted my blueberry bushes, transplanted peach trees all into one location. Um, so this will, uh, I'm going to take you around and let you see it and, and, uh, maybe you can get some ideas. All right. I'm going to take you around. Here's the garden shed with our, was once a chicken coop. Now it's a, uh, we harden off our plants in there. Um, all our vegetables and starts. I still have got one, two, three blueberry, four blueberries, a raspberry. bamboo combs gonna hopefully sprout in a couple months got them all filled up with water got a fig got another fig back there that we haven't planted yet mr. gnome Great trellis that I just did. It's uh, I went back in the forest behind the house and still not quite finished, but I've got most of it up, ready to go. Just added a couple more branches. I've got my two great vines. It's a dwarf peach tree, hardy down to negative 10 degrees. Some blueberry bushes. This is our first guild that we did. And the concept we're going for is just uh, there's seven layers in a food forest or in an actual forest forest. And we take from from that design that Mother Nature and God designed and created. And transform it into a garden so we have set there's seven layers but I'm only utilizing six layers because I don't have any I don't want to put any huge canopy trees in here so I've got semi dwarf trees that are going to be actually as as my um, canopy and fig trees will work too because they can get pretty tall and bushy and then you got your so you've got your canopy layer then you've got your bush layer, so your aronia berries, blueberries, um, honey berries, gumi berries, and then you've got your herbaceous layer, which we don't have any here right now, but then uh, you got your oreganos, your, your parsley, your um, sage, and then you've got your ground cover, which would be your strawberries um, you can do clover as a ground cover nitrogen fixer and then kind of like a spreading cover and then um, you got your vining your vining uh, vining crop that will go in there to, to complete the closed loop system of a food forest and that's what we're going for here <clears throat> here's a goji berry in its second year. This is a hardy kiwi in its first year. It's a great vine that I just transplanted. The male hardy kiwi. I don't know if it's going to make it though. It's in its second year. My honeybees hard at work. I've had a hard day bringing them pollen. Put a grapevine in the corner. That's all my wood chips back there that I use. This is 
my pomegranate second year. This, I can't remember what this is. I think it's another goji berry, but we moved it because it just wasn't really thriving where it was. So we moved it into a box with good drainage. This is a blackberry that I've got in here. These are very thorny, very big thorns. It is not very friendly. This is a Bruce plum, kind of a mid-season plum. This is an early plum, and this is a, uh, what is this? Ozark Premier plum. Another grapevine. Elderberry with bamboo shoot cry ground cover to suppress the weeds. The beehives. I feel like this one's about to swarm probably in a day or two. They're very hyper. Won't get too close right now. More star cherry that I just got yesterday. Sorry, pear. Another great find. Granny Smith apple. Santa Rosa plum. Some fresh bamboo cane. We just picked. Get this out of the way. Cherry. Cherry. Kim's rhubarb. Kim leaving me. Pink Lady. It's just about to bloom here soon. I'm hoping that we can just beat out Mother Nature with the frost because it's the next couple, next three days it's going to be in the 37, 36 degrees. So I'm hoping, praying that it won't kill any of my blooms. The Granny Smith. The pawpaw trees are starting to swell and they're budding out. Got a couple of pawpaws last year. They're sure are good. It's a second pawpaw. And Kim started some lettuce, some spinach, some kale. Some asparagus, too, because we ate most of them today. And that's about it. Stay tuned until stay tuned until next episode. <laughs>